Hey, this is Pawan. Welcome to technophilesub.com. Today we are going to talk about how we can fix NTFS partition is in an unsafe state error in Linux operating system. As most of you know, this error is because Windows did not shut down properly. However, in Windows 8 case, it's a bit different. It's because of hybrid shutdown. For those who don't know what is hybrid shutdown, hybrid shutdown is a new feature that is implemented in Windows 8 to let it boot faster. Uh, it is very similar to a hibernate option that we have earlier where every file that every present file that is in RAM will be stored into hard drive and uh, when you're trying to uh, uh, turn on your PC again files from hard drive will be loaded back into RAM again but in this case uh, in hybrid shutdowns case uh, the essential registries and the uh, necessary files that need to boot windows will be stored into system reserved area and uh, it will pick the files from there and will boot so the only way uh, ubuntu can access ntfs partitions is, is that uh, when they are shut when, when they are closed properly so to close it properly we need to shut down windows properly so we are going to see how we can shut down windows properly now uh, one way is that you can uh, restart your pc uh, surprisingly when you are restarting your pc windows will shut down properly and uh, the other way is that using the run command shutdown slash s slash t0 uh, using this command you can uh, shut down windows and uh, it is a proper shutdown uh, if you want to permanently remove this feature uh, what you can do is uh, go to power configuration settings okay uh, let me open it via control panel in the power options control panel settings you have option choose what the power buttons do here you will have turn on fast startup that is recommended here you can change this setting you can uncheck this option and save changes whenever you boot now it is a proper shutdown uh, alternatively you can access this setting directly by using power cfg.cpl shortcut whatever it is uh, but what this will do is that it will uh, windows will shut down properly and whenever you are trying to reload i mean to restart to start the windows again it will take little longer than what it is expected to so once you are done with this you can get away with that error hope you find this useful thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye